Unbelievable times. I really hope we stay friends forever. There have been some, there have been some amazing high, highlights for me that I like to mention. Winning the two Olympic gold medals. Two world championships. And of course, winning the two Stanley Cups. They are definitely on top of my list. And I still remember the parades there in Denver. <laughs> They were, they were unbelievable. Another highlight was always beating the Red Wings. But beating them at game six at McNichols Arena in the Western Conference Finals in 96. Before sweeping the Panthers in the finals were awesome. Oh, here's a point that unfortunately I have to talk about. Those injuries, they were part of my career. And I like to praise the whole Avalanche Medical and training staff for their patience and knowledge throughout my career. I also want to thank all the doctors and people around the world that helped me to try to get, get back playing again. But when I played this game, <laughs> it's a little better to talk about that, but I tried to give my team the best chance to win every single night. I always tried to play with passion and energy, because that's the only way I knew how to play. And I want you to know that even with all those injuries, I would not change one thing. I am, I am very, very happy with my career. It was all worth it. And after using, I don't know, like 500 pairs of skates, 1,500 sticks, and having over 20 surgeries. I still had the desire to play at the highest level last season. I strongly believed I owed it to myself to try one more time. And I want to thank the Avalanche organization to give me, to give me this opportunity. Because I sincerely wanted to play in front of you all again, but it, didn't, it just couldn't happen. And I'm sorry it didn't work out. So it was not easy to leave this game that I love, but it came, became too dangerous. And I was not going to put myself in that precarious situation at this stage of my career. Thank you. But looking back though, I was fortunate to have an unbelievable NHL career that started in Quebec, 1994. Surrounded by solid core of players, especially you, Joe Sackick.
you truly exemplified the ultimate captain and teammate. What I will always take away as your teammate throughout the 11 seasons together is how we saw the game. And winning was all was our only goal. It didn't matter who our line mates were or our coach us. We just wanted the best for the team. I have such great respect for you and could never have asked for a better teammate and friend. Thank you, Joe. Finally, I'd like to thank you, great fans of Colorado. And all the fans around the world for your unconditional support and the way you embraced me from the beginning. And tonight, I'm privileged to see my jersey raised to the banners next to Mr. Bork, Mr. Roy, and Mr. Sackett. I am overwhelmed, I'm proud, and I will never, ever forget this high honor. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Avalanche fans. Oh, but before you sit down, Peter, I believe there's one last item we need to take care of. Could you please take your position for the moment we've all been waiting for? Avalanche fans, please stand and join us as we raise number 21 to the rafters. Raise the banner in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth player to have his number retired as an avalanche, number 21, Peter Forsberg! That is awesome. Just awesome, and the emotion in his face 
says it all. Not a dry eye here in Pepsi Center. 